So welcome to the lecture on estimation of missing rainfall data part 1. Generally when you deal with rainfall, we have to analyze the long term rainfall data. So before we start analyzing, we have to check for its continuity and consistency. That means whether the, there is any missing data or whether there is any error in the, rec in the previous records. By continuity, I mean that throughout this past data, there should not be any particular days where we don't have the rainfall data. So we have to check for this. Also, there should be a consistent in this past year data. For instance, suppose in this basin, Initially, the rain gauge was installed in this station 1 and then after some year, it was shifted to the station 2 as shown in this figure. In that case, we will be having an inconsistent data or say in the same station, station 1, in, uh, in the last 10 years, there was a huge forest in this area and suddenly there is a deforestation, a huge deforestation in that particular area. So obviously it will affect the rainfall content of that station. So in that case, we'll have the inconsistent data. So we have to check for this continuity and consistency of the data before we analyze it further. In this particular lecture, we will talk only about the continuity of data, how to check the continuity of data. Suppose we have a network of rain gauge and say in one of the rain gauge here we have the data for every day but that one particular day or uh, the person supposed to collect the rain data could not go there and therefore we have a missing data or uh, say the, the the instrument was not functioning on that particular day therefore we have a missing data so how do we estimate this missing value so for that we have two different methods called the arithmetic mean method and the normal ratio method. So let us discuss about this method in detail. So one of the simple method is called as the arithmetic mean method. So here the missing rainfall at one of the station can be estimated by just taking the average value of all the other station which have the rainfall data. Uh, say like uh, we have the M number of station <coughs> then we can find the missing value at station X by just taking the mean of all the other values of precipitation at the various other station so this is what is this formula is all about but there is a problem with this method when there is a wide variation of rainfall over the area so how do you know whether you should go for this method or you should go for the other method called the normal ratio method? Say we have four station A, B, C, D. So the annual rainfall at station A is 60 cm. The annual rainfall at station B is 70 cm. At station C is 90 cm. However, there is a missing value at station D. So we have to find out this annual missing value. Here NA basically it represents the normal rainfall when we say normal it generally it is taken as the 30 years average the last 30 year average so say at station a the last 30 year average annual rainfall is 75 centimeter at station b is 10 centimeter c is 60 centimeter and the at station d the last 30 year average uh, annual rainfall is 80 centimeter so to know whether we can use this simple average method in this case so for that it should follow one condition so since the station d is having the missing rainfall so we are going to take 10 percent of the normal data of this particular rain gauge where we have the missing so here we take 10 percent from both sides that is less than 10 percent and more than 10 percent both sides because variation can be from both sides right so if we calculate less than 10% uh, of 80 cm is nothing but 0 0.9 into 80 will get 72 cm and if we calculate more than 10% variation of 80 cm we have to calculate by multiplying 
1.1 into 80 cm you will get 88 cm so the variation the 10 percent variation of this particular station range between 72 cm to 82 cm so now you have to check whether this this range is the same as the normal value of the other station or not so if this range is <coughs> with uh, if we, within this range the other stations fall within this range then we will go for the normal average method if not we have to go for the other method so as you can see here for a station a 75 centimeter it falls within this range that is between 72 to 88 centimeter however in station b and station c it is out of this range 100 centimeter is more than this range and 60 meter 60 centimeter is less than this range so if this given data is given to us so we cannot estimate the missing rainfall using the arithmetic mean method so in that case we have to go for the other method called the normal ratio normal ratio method this method is similar to the average method it's however here what we do we estimate the ratio of the rainfall with the normal rainfall instead of just estimating the rainfall directly in that way we can estimate the value of missing rain so here n1 n2 n3 and so on uh, they represent the normal rainfall that is the average 30 years rainfall in that particular station and p1 p2 p3 and so on they represent the precipitation on that particular year or particular month of the respective station so px is the rainfall the st uh, rainfall uh, missing rainfall that we would like to calculate and nx is the normal rainfall of the particular station where there is a missing rainfall m is the number of the station so in this way this these are the two methods where we calculate the missing uh, rainfall data thank you